Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today I have the Dollar Tree Shore Living Shopping Haul that you've been looking for. I put a poll up and everybody wanted to see what I was able to get Shore Living items at Dollar Tree yesterday. I went to my five Dollar Trees and two of them had it set yesterday. Some of them had just put it out. And I also ordered some of this stuff online on dollartree.com. I have a link below if you would like to check out what you can get by the case. So let me show you what I found at Dollar Tree yesterday. So first up are these seahorses. Now these are brand new this year. Look how adorable these are. I found a broken one the other day at Dollar Tree, so I knew they were coming and I was so looking forward to it. I found these at one of my stores. They were with the Shore Living. They say they're made out of resin. They kind of look like they're made out of wood and they kind of feel kind of like a ceramic so they are fragile but they're beautiful I picked up five of them because I'm absolutely in love with those up next are starfish I went ahead and bought these online because I love these I knew I wanted a whole case of them um, they come in all these different colors like two different shades of blue this one is my favorite the lighter blue so I did pick up a few more of those in the store um, they also come in red and the more royal blue. I like to use those for like either 4th of July. The red can be used for Christmas. The white can be painted any color or left the same. But I've made like wind chimes, wall decor. I've made so many different things with these. They'd make great like Christmas tree ornaments too with already having the rope hanger on them. You can just hang them on the wall as is. Very cute. Now, I bought a case of these online, too, and these were so great that I actually ordered a second case because I love them. They're like a wood bead, right? But they have these beautiful, like, ceramic-like charms on them. So this one is the seashell. It's got a wonderful texture on it. It's like an uncoated, like, ceramic that you can, like, paint. But I thought that would be so cute to add to DIYs. The starfish has like a, just an amazing texture on it. I'm trying to show that to you. It's so beautiful. And it's a lot different than like the other starfish products that you get at Shore Living Line. So gorgeous. Check out the little sea turtle. I love sea turtles. So I definitely love this one. I think that's going to be so cute for DIYs. And let's see what else. Oh, they're sand dollars. So it's a lot different than the plastic sand dollar that you get. Very beautiful. It's got like, you know, the hanger hole on it. But you could always um, kind of disguise that or use that to attach it to whatever you are crafting with. So absolutely love those. I think those are going to be a staple. Those are new this year. I've never seen them with the Shore Living line before. But huge fan of those. Not sure how fragile they are. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Another item I ordered a whole case of online is the starfish. They have these every year. They're plastic, but they're beautiful. Um, they have a great texture. You can paint them whatever color you want or leave them white. Um, I use these year round for my coastal crafting. So a case of these will definitely um, come in handy for the next year. Um Usually I'm fighting with people, and I did see them at the stores, the starfish and the sand dollars, but I didn't really want to have to fight for them this year, so I bought a case of them online. If you're enjoying today's shopping haul so far, be sure to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more coastal DIYs. Okay, these they had last year. They're like hanging decor. They have little sand dollars and starfish on them. They are super cute. They're kind of a nice small size um, to add to items. I don't really like the color of the starfish, but you can always paint it. And the wood beads are pretty too. Like they're beachy. So I don't really use these like this. I take them apart and make other items with them. But I picked up a couple of those. I probably need to get a few more of those. 
And then these are the sand dollars they have every year at Dollar Tree. I ordered a case of these online too, but I did see these in the store. You get three in a package. They're plastic, they're molded, and they're perfect for crafting. Um, a lot of the items I've made with real sand dollars have broke um, in storage, like seasonal stuff. So um, the plastic sand dollars, I think, are the way to go for crafting because you're not going to have to worry about your project getting destroyed. And actually, most of those I've replaced the real sand dollars with the fake ones from the Dollar Tree. I love them. Now, these are the same as they've had before, but I think they're shaped slightly different than they were last year. But they're like a like glossy ceramic starfish. They have a great texture, and I usually like to either paint these with like matte mod podge to take down that sheen if i'm going for a more rustic coastal look um but i picked up four of the white ones because I, I could always paint those to whatever they work great for like coastal tear trays and stuff like that or you can just leave them sitting around they're so cute now these they've had every year these are the little wood like anchors they're a great size um they're not really wood but they have like that wood grain texture on them that makes them really pretty for a nautical feel they come in red white and blue white is my favorite i just picked up a handful of those i don't do a lot of nautical but i do a little bit of it so those will come in handy now they had these i believe they had these last year i kind of recognize them these little wall charms what i do is just take the shell off and use them on other decor pieces as you can see they're probably made out of resin but they kind of look like wood they have the shells and the sailboats are the ones that I got. And the sailboats are really cute too. They're just white, but look how pretty those shells are. I also picked up like the anchors again for a little bit nautical and just to have like a different size um, than the larger ones and the really small ones. It makes coastal crafting so much easier. And just adding one of these to a sign that you make is just going to make it look so beachy and fun I love them now they had these last year for the first year I think these are the little hooks I like taking these apart so they have these shells on them I don't really like the starfish ones so I didn't get those but I did pick up these shells because you can just unscrew them on the back here take the hook off of them and use them on whatever you want and you can always paint them they have a great texture on them but the paint job on them isn't too bad but I don't really use them as hooks. I mean, I guess you could if you were making like a towel rack or something like that for beach towels by the pool or something like that. That could be cute. And then these are the stepping stones that they had. Um, I know they had these last year. I have them in my garden. They look a little bit different color than mine. I don't know if mine have just faded, but they've actually held up all year. And they're a nice small stepping stone, so you could always use them for a tear tray or a decor piece. I only picked up a couple because I don't really think I need very many but last year I did do a DIY where I showed you how to frame them out with a wreath form okay guys I love these these are my favorite these are my favorite last year the little seahorse and seashell greenery check these out I love these so much that I did buy a whole case of these online um, and had them these I think I had to have shipped to my home I think this was the only thing I did but I love them so much they have these seahorses as you can see, they're like a little bit different colors. I use them year round in crafting. I love them. But they also have some that kind of just like look like seaweed and stuff like that. If you wanted to do like a little coastal display where like you have seaweed coming up from the bottom. They also have um, ones that have just like seashells and stuff on them. I bought a whole case and then when I found them in my Dollar Tree yesterday, I did pick up more of the seahorses ones because I just love them. The seahorses are like just a fantastic texture. You can paint them. You can use them as floral picks. You can attach them to things. I even did a resin DIY recently where I put them like and made the resin look like the ocean and I have the little seahorses in it and they turned out so cool because they're so well textured and beautiful. Now, these were not shore living, but they're new and I've never seen them before. So I picked these up yesterday too because they're like the glitter coral, but they're not glittery. And check out these beautiful colors. So I thought these would be great for coral, for coastal DIYs. I really like the light blue, so I got a lot more of those. But I got the yellow, the darker blue, and the orange too for a little bit of variety if I wanted to do like a coral reef scene or something like that. 
Now, these are new this year, and I thought these were so beautiful. They call them sunbursts. They kind of look like mushroom coral to me. Um, they have little hangers on the back. This color was my favorite, so I bought more of that. But I thought if you paired, like, some of these up together to make a beautiful, like, coastal wall hanging, it could be really pretty. So I picked up silver and some of the darker blue, too, um, just because I kind of think you're going to want to do, like, multiple colors. But aren't these so gorgeous? They're made out of, like, metal. And they're a pretty nice size, too. I was glad to find so many new items this year. But some of the items that I was expecting to see, I didn't see. So I don't know if they're just not in the stores yet. These are new this year, too. The little metal fish. Very cute. I picked up the blue and the silver. I thought I could maybe do, a, like, a school of fish or something like that with them. I didn't see any of the wood fish this year. I don't know if they're not bringing them back or not. But they did have these metal fish. The great thing about these is they're not like on a yard stake or anything. So you don't even have to take them apart. They already have hangers on the back of them. Um, you could take advantage of for your DIY if you just wanted to hang a bunch of them on the wall. Like a school of fish. I think they'd be really pretty. And I think they'd be pretty easy to paint too if you don't really like the colors that you can find. Okay, up next. These are new this year as well. These are like the wood cutout signs. So they have an octopus, which was probably my favorite one. These would be great because you could always have it be cut out like that or you could put something behind it, like an ocean scene. They have the sailboat. And they also have like an anchor, like ship wheel. I only got one of each because I didn't want to go crazy on these. Um, I couldn't think of a lot of purposes that I could need multiples for. So we will see if I have self-control on those. I do like them, though. They're really pretty. And these are new this year. Check out the seahorses this year. So they're similar to the seahorses that they used to have, but they have, like, the wooden, like, exoskeleton of the seahorse on top, which I'm actually going to really appreciate because uh, last year I DIY'd this where I tried to make that skeleton out of... Um, hot glue and it did work but it was a lot of work so this might make it a little bit easier and they're a nice size too so I picked up quite a few of those little seahorse signs at the Dollar Tree and then just like those they also have the same thing in the seashell signs so these are similar to the seashell signs that they've had before but again they already have the texture on them the bad thing about that is when you're thinking about painting it that you have to kind of get in between all those different grooves I don't know. I'm thinking maybe spray paint might be good for the back of those. Um, we will see, but I thought they were pretty, so I definitely picked up some of the seashell signs. Now, I, they've had these the past few years. I think some of them might be a little bit different. The starfish wood bead garland looked the same. I don't remember ever having the sea turtle ones before, so I thought those were really cute for some little sea turtles. As you can see, they're not super long. The wood bead garland, but I thought they were kind of cute, so I picked up a couple. And they also had little seahorses, which I thought were cute. So I don't know if I'll use them as wood bead garlands or take them apart and use the little pieces for other DIYs, but I got a handful of those. Now, these are the little wood signs. So they have sea turtles, seahorses, um, octopus, and starfish. Um, they're cute little wood signs, ready to paint or DIY. They do have the wood bead hangers. Um, they're a nice small size. They had these last year, I know. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with them. I know I had kind of a problem with them last year about them not being exactly the same size if I wanted to use them together to make like a box or something like that. But I'll try to see what I come up with this year. Now, these were brand new. The little mini tag signs are made out of wood, and they're so cute. And probably the only mermaid I saw <laughs> was on these. So the mermaid welcome, the beachy flip-flops. I don't know why. They all had that extra line coming out of the A. I don't know why. <laughs> and the little beach umbrella and beach chair and relax. I couldn't think of a lot of uses for these, so I only picked up one of each, but we'll see. I might go back and get more of the mermaid one because I couldn't find any mermaid stuff this year. Usually they have lots. Now these are the same that they have every year. They have all the little wood shapes, the little ornaments. So 
they have like the wooden anchors, the wooden like kind of a cartoon whale. They have the um, sea turtle, the seahorses. Those are super cute. And what else? They have like little sailboats. So I use these sometimes. Um, sometimes they irritate me because they have the holes in them um, that you have to kind of fill up with speckle. But they are a really nice size for crafting. And you can make some really cute stuff. Like if you were going to do like a cube shape or like have lots of different shapes or like a shadow box or something like that. And then these are um, something they've had every year, too, with the Shore Living line. The little clothespins, which I usually just take the little seahorses and um, whales off of that. But I also really like the little starfish that they come on here. It's a really nice size for crafting. Again, I remove them from the clothespins. I wish they weren't even on them, honestly. <laughs> and then the little wood shapes, like the little sea turtles, the little dolphins. I didn't find a lot of these. Um, hopefully, I'll get a better stocked store soon. One of my stores said they didn't send them everything and I did notice that because um, they're supposed to be like a new wind chime. So I found these wind chimes at one store, but I did not find any of the driftwood wind chimes that are supposed to be um, new this year. But I did find these. So these are the wooden wind chimes. This one has a starfish, a seahorse, and a seashell. It's got a little metal bill on the bottom that actually is kind of nice and loud. Um, I'll probably dismantle this and use all the pieces individually. I'll definitely keep the bells to make wind chimes. And um, my coastal wind chimes always do pretty well on my channel, so I was excited to find these. This one has a lobster, a mermaid tail, and a crab. So I picked up a, um, a couple of my the seahorse ones. I like was my favorite and a couple of the other one. And then also found this one. Um, I only got one of these. So this one is like the wooden pelican, um, whale and a uh, sea turtle on there. So super cute. You can leave them as is and paint them as wind chimes, but I get, I will probably put them all together to make something really special. Now these are new again this year are new this year. Um, they're like the wood words. So this one spells out the word ocean. It's got like a little sea turtle. Super cute. Um, I thought these would be great because you could like put these on like a larger sign and have like lettering. This one spells out the word beach and it has like a little ship wheel on it. Um, so you also have shapes for like the ends or you could use them separately. This one is the word coastal. It has like the sailboat as the A. I thought that was cute. This one, it says welcome where the O is a seashell. So that's cute. And that was uh, mixed up. You guys got to see me get all this stuff. And then luckily with all my organization for my crafting organization video, I have room for all this. Now, I wasn't too excited about these and obviously I was excited and didn't even read it. I think I might have to take this one back. <laughs> it's supposed to say relax. They have like two different versions of this. Um, they're like little shell wood blocks, which I thought were cute. I don't know if I really like them on a garland like this, but yeah, make sure yours are spelled correctly because I don't know what Zellax is. <laughs> And then they have the sailboats again this year. So these are beautiful sailboat signs. They have like burlap on them. I used these for DIYs last year where I added them to larger signs and stuff like that by taking them apart. But they're so pretty. You don't really have to do anything to them. And they're a nice thick wood. So you don't really have to worry about um, them being warped or anything like that. They're so much better than the ones that they used to carry the first year. Now, these are new this year. Um, I noticed the beach signs are all kind of new. So um, this is the Unwind. It's really cute. It's got like a little shell and a starfish on it. I'm not sure if I like the colors, but I might be able to repaint it. And then this one is Relax. Uh, mine split a little bit, but kind of adds the coastal farmhouse charm. It's got like a little coral bump out and it's got a little sailboat for the A. So I only picked up a couple of those because I th thought that's probably all I really needed. They also have new long beach signs this year. So this one said home. I'll probably replace the little ship wheel with like a shell or something. They have the longer home one too that looks like blue boards. The shell on it is made out of like 
cardboard, so that totally needs to be replaced. But I thought it would be a great blank, and that'd be really easy to peel that off. And then I can't pass up sea turtles. They have like the little sea turtle welcome sign. I only picked up three of these because these signs are very thin, and unless you add them to other pieces, they're not going to hold up too well. Now, these are not thin. These are really cool. Um, I picked up two of these. They have like the wood bead garland on the side. One of them says enjoy and one of them says relax. And what makes them thicker is that they have like the wood frame on the top and the bottom, which makes them a more substantial piece. And I can always paint those as well if I need to. Now, I ordered a whole case of these. I did see them in the store, though. I ordered a whole case because they're so cool. Look at these new glass signs they have this year. Oh, so many ideas for these. So I got a whole case because I wanted multiples of the same ones. So, like, I got the seahorses. So pretty. And then I got the mermaid tails. Gorgeous. I love it. And then the other design they have are sea turtles. So that's kind of a horizontal sign. But what I'm thinking with these is these would make really cute coastal lanterns. Like if you put them together, like four of them together, make a base. You could put candles inside. Ooh, I'm so excited about those. Definitely unique pieces. Now, I really don't need any more beach canvases because I have so many left over from last year. So I tried to show constraint. These were new, though. So I picked up like one of each just because I liked them. And I'm like, oh, I have to use these this year. So I like to use the beach canvases. I'm cutting the canvas off, using them with other DIYs. And I need to remember to do that more this year because I have so many of these. But these are so pretty that I couldn't pass them up. So I just got one of each. Um, and you could always make frames for them, leave them on the canvases too if you want, but they are an unframed canvas. A nice size, but they're so pretty, I had to get at least one of each. <laughs> Even though I said I wasn't going to buy any more. The one that looks like burlap with the white print on there, one of my viewers made something already in my Facebook group that looks really pretty. Now they have the rope beach words again this year. I love these. The, they're the rope on like the MDF. And I got like different words. So beach, love, I could put those together. I could put together beach, home, and then also relax if I wanted to do like multiple words, you know, on a sign. Otherwise, they're great just to attach to other signs. Um, and it saves you the trouble of like spelling out, gluing down the rope to make words. I think they're really pretty. So I definitely had to pick up some of those. Now these, um, I know the rope balls, um, they've had every year and the little decor pieces are like the little twine wrapped globes. They had those last year. They have those again this year. They work great for trays, tier trays and stuff like that. I like to use the rope balls too as Christmas ornaments, um, and tier tray filler, but I don't really need a whole lot of those. So I just picked up a handful of those. Now, I finally found this seahorse metal stakes this year. I think they had these last year, but I never saw them. Look how beautiful they are. I love those. So I definitely picked up some of those. I also picked up one of the octopus. They also have like the sailboat, the compass star, stuff like that. But I think I have some left over from last year. I didn't think I really needed any more, but I definitely wanted the seahorse ones. Now, the beach fabrics are all new this year. So check out this like beautiful like seahorse pattern. It's got like different colors of blues and green seahorses. Big fan of that. That'll be really fun to make some DIYs with. They also have a new coral fabric. Look how pretty this is. It's like a blue with like lighter blue corals on it. And then they have like a nautical anchor and stripe. These will be perfect for 4th of July, like nautical coastal decorations. Very cute. So the fabrics are new this year. I don't know if they're going to bring back the old patterns or not. And then they have the placemats again this year. Like they have the starfish, the starfish and the sand dollars. Um, I use these for placemats outside, but I also like to use them for crafting materials sometimes. So I picked up a couple of those. And then these are the coastal twine. I don't know if they had these blue and brown ones before, but I really like it. So I picked up a couple of those, um, just some jute cord. And then I always like the brown and white ones. So I picked up some of that as well. Just adds a little bit more character than just the plain brown twine. So those um, I got this year as well. 
These are definitely new this year, the Coastal Candle Holders. Check out how gorgeous these are. They have like a circle bumpy texture on them. I love this color. So I picked up three of these. I thought maybe I could put them together as a set on something. But they also have like a darker blue and a white. And as you can see, they are beautiful. I think they're going to be really pretty with candles inside of them. So I was pretty excited to find those in the glassware section. These are new this year. I've never seen them before. The little fishing floats. Y'all, I was so excited to find these. I got a whole bunch of them. My favorite was like the turquoise um, and then the clear ones. I usually have to make these out of Christmas ornaments and stuff like this out of twine. But how nice is it? It's already made. It's already got little hooks on them. I thought you could do a whole Christmas tree with these as ornaments. It would look so cute. You could use like fishing net and fishing floats. So adorable. They also have like the more royal blue. Um, I did pick up a couple of those, but um, I didn't see these on their website, so I was really excited to find these. They're not glass, even though they look like glass fishing floats. They're made out of plastic, so you don't really have to worry about them breaking or anything like that. But I was really excited to find these. These are beautiful. So many uses. You can tie them on DIYs. You can use them as ornaments themselves. I think if you tied a bunch to a string, you could do like a wall hanging of them. That would be really cute. I'll probably do that DIY. And then they have the glass candle holders they've had every year. I picked up this one. It's one of my favorites because it's got a big handle on it. You can put a candle in it. You can hang these outside. I think last year I put um, solar light in it. Um, and it held up all year. Now these are the like little unfinished glass or ceramic trays. My store only had shelves. It looks like online they have like a whole bunch of them, but I don't use them a lot, but sometimes I use them for tear trays. So I picked up one of those. And then they also have the glass bottles again this year. I never really know how to DIY these or have a lot to display in these, but sometimes I like to sit these around just for decoration because they're so pretty. And then the ceramic orbs, they have these again this year. I don't remember ever seeing the um, spotted one before. Maybe I've missed it before, but they have like um, the star pattern, the squiggly lines, like the fish scale kind of ones. And I like to use these on like a coastal tray, coastal tear tray. They work really well for that. But, or you can just kind of sit those around. I don't know if they've ever had this before or if I just missed it, but they have the plastic shore living tray with that same beautiful shore living pattern on it. It's made out of plastic. I picked up one. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I thought I could probably make it into a nicer tray or some kind of decor piece. Now, these are new this year, guys. These are so beautiful. They're glass tumblers with wood tops. They have like a little seal and blue straws. They're plain, so you can leave them as is. You could get creative with your Cricut and personalize them. They also had ones with blue tops, but those were plastic. I really like the wood tops, so I picked up a couple of those. I'll probably DIY them. And then they also have the candy jars that are the same. They're kind of a small candy jar. They sit on their side like that. They do have the wood tops. They look really high-end for $1.25. I only picked up one of those because I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it, but I did want one. And then I found the Shore Living Glasses. I don't know if these are new this year. I don't think I've ever seen them before. Look how beautiful they are. So I picked up a whole group of six of these. I'm going to use these for glassware for my kitchen. Um, and they're so pretty. They definitely go with the beach feel because, of course, I have a beach scene kitchen, right? <laughs> and then these are not necessarily Shore Living, but I did pick these up. They were new, and I thought they looked great for Coastal. These are like a 5 by 7 wicker frame. I thought that looked really Coastal. So I picked up a couple of those. And then I also found some other great frames. Like these are the wood bead frames, and it looks like a wood frame. I thought that would look really cute with like coastal DIYs. So I picked up some of those as well. They have like a four by four opening. Be really cute to like frame um, like a shell on burlap or something in those. And then they also had these wood frames. Look how pretty these are for Dollar Tree frames. So they have like the eight by 10. 
they have like a little ridge that sticks out. I picked up some of the 8x10s and the 5x7s because these would work great with like the little burlap canvases and they would make really cute coastal DIY. So not necessarily shore living on the frames, but they are new and I thought they would go really well with shore living DIYs. Hey guys, have you checked out my website yet? It is craftybeach.net. I just made this website. I'm so excited about it. It's going to be a blog of all of my DIYs. So you can go there. Every time I post a video, I'm going to be making a blog post. You can click on the blog post, craftybeach.net. Go down. You can see a photo of every DIY I made for that video. You can pin it on Pinterest so you can remember to make it. You can go down. You can find the video where I show you how to make it. And I've got other things on here as well. You can kind of go browse by season. Right now, I only have Easter and a little bit of spring on there. Um, I also have a link to my Amazon shop for all of my favorite items I get on Amazon and a link to my Etsy store so you can get some of my beautiful crafting meme printables or printable designs. So again, craftybeach.net. Be sure to check it out. I'm trying to get this blog post up and running. I've been waiting for craftybeach.com for years and somebody just keeps paying for a defunct website. So I gave up and we are going to do craftybeach.net. Okay, up next is kind of the final reveal. I'm gonna give you a photo of each one of the items that I bought today so you can get a little bit of a closer look and you can add the items to your shopping list.
for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight, I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight, this vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. Dreamers of the to give a huge thank you to all of my crafty beach bum members for supporting my channel thank you to karen o'haran melinda elizabeth jamie job susan edmonds carrie r tracy knight nancy wunner julie miller janae farrington pamelia wren maria grace donna schreiner sandy c and Lindsay. Thank you so much for supporting my channel here on YouTube. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is hit the join button under the video. It's $4.99 a month and you're going to get early ad-free access to my videos and you can cancel anytime. It's just a quick, easy way for you to support a small channel like mine here on YouTube. I also have a Facebook group linked in the description below. I have a Facebook page I'm really active on and Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. And my handle on everything is Crafty Beach on YouTube, all one word. And I would love to connect with you over there. Thank you so much for watching my shopping haul video. I hope that you find so many of these shore living items in your store. I know a lot of you guys are excited as I am about all of the new items this year and all of the great DIYs we can make with them. So happy shopping. Hopefully you've made a little list and find everything that you're looking for. Good luck though. Go get it now before it is gone. And if you would like some Dollar Tree DIY ideas, be sure to check out my video here on YouTube. Until then, happy crafting everybody.